Ubuntu. It is a free and open source Linux distribution that comes in three flavors, desktop, server, and core for IoT. Ubuntu is easy to use. It comes with free software like LibreOffice, Firefox, Thunderbird, and Transmission, as well as games like Sudoku and Chess. Aside from its ease of use, the operating system is known to be more secure than Windows. It is not immune to viruses, but it has a much lower risk of exposure. Also, it is easy to change, so you can make your Ubuntu environment fit your needs. Scent OS, because its software is simple and light. Scenti OS runs faster than other Linux distributions. The operating system has a longer upgrade cycle, lasting approximately five years. Because of the more frequent updates, those other distributions may be less reliable at times. As a result, CentOS is regarded as a stable operating system. Fedora. Fedora has a lot of graphical tools and useful software for office work, virus protection, system management, playing media, learning, and other things. Because of its popularity, it is supported by a large community, which is an important consideration when selecting open source software. Debian. It is a stable Linux distribution, but it also lets early adopters try out packages that aren't quite ready yet. In comparison to the alternatives, Debian provides the most packages. The time it takes to upgrade Debian is also long, which means you can keep using the same version for a long time. This keeps you from having to upgrade software often and restart your server to make the changes take effect. People think it's a great distribution for running servers because its software is stable and it comes out less often. Red Hat, which calls itself the world's leading enterprise Linux platform, is used for a lot of different things, such as making software and running hardware. RHEL is well known for its stability and speed. It works well with third-party software and has a quick security patch cycle. Because this distribution is run by Red Hat, a multinational software company, you will get great support. Linux Mint. Mint has become one of the most popular Linux distributions since it first came out in beta in 2006. If you use Windows, you will be familiar with its user interface. When switching to a new Linux distribution, there may be a learning curve, but Mint's simple UI and ease of use can help to reduce that. Furthermore, it includes many useful apps by default, such as Firefox, LibreOffice, and others. It has an effective app management tool. You can search for and install software visually using an internal software manager that works like the App Store. Open SUSE. It gives its users a stable environment and works well with almost all of the best Linux desktop apps. The distribution is simple in software management. You can search for tools on software.opensuse.org and install them directly from there. OpenSUSE is a great choice for both home and business use because it has so many benefits. If you don't want to, you don't have to keep updating your operating system after installing the distro. You can just install it and use it. Manjaro. It was released in 2011, has quickly become one of the most popular Linux distributions. Manjaro has distinct advantages over other distributions. Manjaro, in particular, excels at hardware support. Some Linux distributions require you to take extra steps to make your hardware work, such as manually installing drivers and packages, which can be time-consuming. Manjaro, on the other hand, makes this process much easier. It scans your hardware and installs the necessary drivers and packages automatically. Unlike other distros, you don't have to deal with a broken personal package archive, PPA, when you want to install software that isn't supported by the repository. Elementary. It was released in 2011, distinguishes itself from other distributions by including its own desktop environment called Pantheon. It has its own user interface and apps as well. Elementary OS has a minimalist design that focuses on simplicity, making it simple to learn. This minimalist design allows users to focus on what is important and increases productivity. OS Zorin. For those new to Linux distributions, Zorin OS is a good place to start. Its user interface looks like Windows, and in Zorin's premium editions of OS 9, you can change the user interface to look like Apple's Mac OS. One of Zorin's strengths is its speed, and its operating system system supports over 55 languages. Kali Linux. I made a whole video about Kali Linux. Check it from here. Arch Linux. It's a lightweight and flexible Linux distribution designed for advanced users who value simplicity, control, and customization. It follows a rolling release model, meaning the system is continuously updated without the need for major version upgrades. This ensures users always have access to the latest software and kernel features. Arch is known for its minimalistic approach, offering only a base system that users build upon by manually installing and configuring everything, including the desktop environment. This hands-on approach encourages users to learn more about Linux and Internals, making it a popular choice for those who want complete control over their operating system while maintaining a lean setup. Arch's package manager, Pacman, allows easy installation and management of software, and the Arch user repository provides access to a vast collection of community-driven packages.